Right, today I'm planning on updating the sat nav in this Golf 7.5 GTD. Been putting it off for a while because I don't want to smash it all together, but I think the maps are way out of date. So, this is just the, I can't remember the name of it, MIB2 platform navigation where do I go here settings version information uh, 2017 2018 so I'm going to attempt to update that by downloading new, download new maps under the SD card which is in there somewhere. I'll turn the ignition off. That's about there. Uh... So I'm going to try and update this with the new maps via my laptop. What I'll do first, I'm going to make a backup of this, just in case something goes wrong. Worst case, I'll just go and buy a new SD card from VW. But it should be okay. So, I've uh, made my way to my laptop. Um, and I've navigated to the Volkswagen official page, which I'll link in the description below. Um... The updates for my car 2017 Golf um, are free uh, via this website, indefinitely free I think. So you find the map update site and as you scroll down, select your car. Mine's a Golf GTD 2017, select your navigation system. Well, mine's just the normal Discover Media, MIB2. Now it says, select a region to update your navigation system. Well, I've tried this a couple of times before, and sometimes it doesn't work. Um, now, the reason it doesn't work is because, in my particular car, the VW SD card, which you've got to update, I'm pretty sure it's only 16 gigabits. So you've got to find maps that fit. Now there's various maps on here with the UK on. So bundle one, bundle two. Bundle six, bundle seven. Um, so you just pick the one you want. The particular one you want. Well, I've made a mistake in the past of just selecting bundle one. Not particularly bothered about how many countries it's got. I was just, my car just stays in this country. Um, but what I found was when you download that, it takes about two hours to download the file. Um, I've got a feeling it's in the region of 25 gigabit, the file. Um, when you come to X, uh, copy that onto your VW card, my VW card, I'm pretty sure, was 16 gigabits. doesn't go anywhere near, and it tells you it's full. So I always uh, go for this one, bundle two, um, zip file. And I think, I think it's about 6.7 gigabits, the file. And it covers all these countries. It's good enough for me. It's got the UK on there. Ireland, Spain, Portugal, France. Basically, all you do is hit the download link and wait an hour. So I've clicked that. I'll come back when it's um, downloaded the file. Something I forgot to mention earlier. Um, before you start uh, deleting stuff off your VW card, Make sure you do a full backup of that card first. It's only the map folder. But as you see here, I've made a full backup of that card. So if anything goes wrong, 
you can just copy your original map folder back onto the card. It'll save you some hassle. Um, I also, I wouldn't format, um, would not format the VW card for somewhere, somewhere on there. VW hired a license for the SatNav to be able to run, and I'm not sure, or I'm not brave enough to uh, format my card and then try it to see if it works again. I've done this a few times now by just deleting the map folder and replacing it with a new one. I never ever format that card and it's always worked for me. So just two things, don't format your VW card and always make a full backup of the map folder that's on your card before you start. So that uh, VW file completed its download which was Europe Bundle 2 on there. Which downloads this 7-zip file, just this one, not the maps up above. I'm going to show you that in a second. Um, Discover Media 2, and it's a 7-zip file, 6.7 gigs. Right-click on that, open with 7-zip. Open archive. And that shows you what's in that 7-zip file. There's only one folder called Maps. So if I highlight the maps and then extract, it extracts to the same folder as where the file was. So I've now got the maps for the latest version on my hard drive. And the easiest way I've found of updating them. This this here is my Golf SD card. And all it's got in it is maps. All I do is right click that. Delete the map folder. Delete the map folder. Once it's deleted, which takes a while, there's a lot of data in there, or it did on my laptop anyway. Just drag and drop this map file back onto your VWSD card. You could probably just do it over the top and it would just overwrite it, but I delete the old one first. Um, and basically what I found, it's been as simple as that. So. I uh, I'll do that now. It'll take probably half an hour for it to copy all of the new maps over and I'll take the SD card back to the car make sure it works. Well, back at the car and I'm going to try this card now. So put it back in the unit. If I can see. Just back in the head unit. Shut that. Ignition on. Oh, I've found the map. What about the version information? Twenty twenty two. Next year's map. Can't be. Absolutely brill. That was a doddle. Anything different? Nope. Points of interest. Are the speed cameras on there yet or not? Nope. So, looks like it's worked. The new map, but still no speed cameras. That's my next mission, to find speed cameras and put them on them. So, I'll um, 
I'll end the video there. I'll put all of the information in the notes below. There was a few little glitches, um, but it's an absolute doddle to do yourself if you do it the way I'm going to post in a minute. All right, thanks for watching.